says that pharmacies who are selling low dose cannabis oil have to stop or they'll be arrested and put in jail and they'll be shut down because pharmacies aren't allowed, they're saying, to sell any class one substance. And everybody knows, says the politicians in Georgia, that cannabis is definitely not medicine. It may be a drug, it may be something else, but it's definitely not medicine at all. And so if you're a pharmacy who's selling dangerous stuff as medicine, shame on you, we're gonna shut you down. And probably don't go there until they figure out how to get rid of the people there who are supporting anti-cannabis nonsense. Also news, New York company 22nd Century Group had just bought what's called GVB Pharmaceuticals, which is a CBD and hemp factory. They were making a lot of hemp and cannabis products that were hemp derived. Well, they were selling it now for $2 million, which might sound like a lot of money, but they bought it for $58 million like a year ago. They thought they were gonna be able to turn that into a lot of profit. However, they didn't. And the person who actually was in charge of the company at the time, they let him go. They're trying to restructure. They're gonna be able to raise $2 million of cash and they're trading that for $60 million worth of stock. And maybe that'll help them get some things going. They said they were cash short and they had a lot of, I guess, products. So maybe it'll work out, but they've lost almost $200 million over the past couple of years. So let's see what they do. Probably don't bet on them. Also in news, the DEA reminds people that cannabis and guns are only okay if you're a caregiver and only okay if you're a grower. If you're using cannabis, they're saying, it's not okay for you to even touch guns. If you have a gun license, you have to turn it in. If you've touched any cannabis or looked at any cannabis, if there's any court documents or if you've been arrested and you have cannabis in your pocket, they're saying that's going to qualify as you're a cannabis user and no firearms for you. But what they're saying is if you're involved in the growing of the plant and you're providing cannabis without using it to people, you can have a gun as long as you haven't had cannabis in the past 12 months. So there's a lot of states who are having a big problem with this idea as it's very unconstitutional to restrict somebody's Second Amendment rights for cannabis use. Cannabis is actually medicine and isn't actually dangerous and no one's ever died from it. It actually doesn't cause psychosis and there's now studies to prove it. And so the farce that is that cannabis makes people unreliable and crazy and unable to legally have firearms is now becoming part of more nefarious plot to take away gun ownership from America. Thanks for watching The Watch Daily.